Arsenal fan TV uh, bully, um, much better today. He was very angry after the game last week and the performance, but must be feeling a lot better today. I've, I thought the team played very well. Yeah, we played, but we played well up until we got the goal. Then we dropped back too much, and we allowed them to get the equaliser. Czech still making a few mistakes as well. He needs to work on that a little bit. Um, uh, you know what? On the Czech thing, uh, there was a guy uh, standing next to me, and um, he said to me, "He goes, it's almost as if every Arsenal fan expects Czech to be perfect." You know, he's never going to ever let in a goal. And, it, you know, he's a great goalkeeper, but he's going to let in goals. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, mm. I, to be honest, I don't see why Ospina was actually left out and Czech made straight as number one. He should have been made to actually work for being number one. Mm. Um, and he did make a few mistakes. There was another one today. He sort of could have caught it and he flapped at it a little mm. bit. Um, but he isn't the be-all and end-all that's going to win us everything. Like, mm. um, but he is a good goalkeeper. Uh, but infused today by the performance, I mean, Alexis Sanchez, people have been saying he's tired, he's knackered, but he came back today and he, he I mean, we spoke to a Palace fan earlier from Palace TV and he, he, he was saying that they were all just saying we can't play this guy. Well, if Alexis is tired, what's that make the rest of our players? Because he's still faster than everybody else apart from Hector. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, they should all go on holiday and come back like Alexis. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, he was all over the place, but we mm. need to start using both wings. S yeah. Stop getting caught up in bunching up too much. And we need the rest of the midfield to actually start putting in some tackles and closing down rather than leaving everything for you Copeland. Like, you like Ramsey out on the right? I mean, you know, there were times today I was looking at it and you could see like Bellerin out there. And when you look to see who's in front of him, so like Bellerin's coming forward, he looks to see who's sort of in front of him. There's nobody. So he can't really make a run because yeah. if he loses it, there's nobody behind him. That's where it's better when he's got Oxlade in front of him, or mm. sometimes even Fia. Right. Mm. But uh, him and Oxlade have got a good understanding and give and go and overlap, and that is really good. Uh, Ramsey's not really one for being out on the right wing, but mm. he's being played out there because he can't get into the centre. Mm. Um, once they brought Ox on, moved, moved him into the centre, but referee was, I'm going to say, referee was a muppet today. Cockland's first challenge there was clear daylight between... He jumped over him and then fell down 10 yards afterwards. Mm. And then he got, like, booked. And then another tackle, which should have been a booking, he didn't get booked. Mm. But there was a lot of dodgy decisions there. But happy in general? Oh, happy in general, because we've got the three points. We're up and running now. And mm. hopefully we can push on. But we need to stop dropping back too much. We need to close down from the front and be in their faces. If we're letting them come out way too much mm. space in the, from the back. He will either come to Arsenal, he will either stay at Madrid, or he'll go to someone else. <laughs> There's you in the know. You heard it here first.